Mike, today we got a question from one of our customers. They wanted to know what the noise in their attic might be. Roger, that's a really good question, one that we often get here. Um, with, with a proper inspection, it could be anything from mice, rats, squirrels, possums. Well, you don't really know until you get up in the attic and do an inspection. What would be one of the things that would help you zero in at what that might be? Well, we look for things like rub marks, feces, of course, uh, would determine what type of uh, animal was up in there, chew marks, gnaw marks, things that rats do when they get up in the attic, they like to continually chew. So those are things we look for. And again, they're the mess they make, the feces and urine trails. So that's certainly going to leave enough evidence behind to try to figure out what it is. What if it's a raccoon? What, what might that look like in someone's attic? Well, raccoons are a little bit different than your rodents. Um, they tend to use latrines where they'll use one specific spot in the attic for the restroom. Um, they will cause much more damage to the insulation and require a larger access point. So it's pretty easy to quickly determine whether you're dealing with a large animal like a raccoon or you're down into the possum size or more commonly um, the roof rat. Okay, so certainly an inspection would be able to determine that. And so if the customers are hearing something in the attic, letting their technician know at the time of a pest control service or calling one of our uh, representatives to take a look at uh, the attic would certainly be very helpful in determining what's going on. It, it would be the best way to do it. They're all trained to look at it and uh, determine what it is and then we could take a course of action at that point.